Jay, I believe you're at an academy. Man, people are behind you already trying to get the loot, get trying to get gear. some stuff. Yeah. Yeah, these fans, they're taking no time at all to get their gear and get that apparel on. You can see behind me these Grey World Series champion shirts. They're being laid out for fans. It looks like a lot, but this gear, it's going to go fast. These shirts are going to go. And so that's why the fans are already here this morning, hours after the World Series championship, making sure they get their hands on this apparel. And it's an exciting day for Houston, for Texas, as Brian mentioned, first World Series championship for any Texas team. So exciting day. We're going to remain out here with the excitement in Houston and to continue to bring you new angles and new sights of the academy here with all these fans getting their championship gear. To give you an idea of you know what these fans have been through it's just four years ago in 2013 the Astros lost 100 games in the regular season and this year they won 100 games and beat a team that won 100 games in the regular season but you don't have to tell these fans behind me that they certainly know that but I'm telling you it's gonna go fast even my producer Tuan she asked me to get one of these shirts and she would Venmo me the money Tuan I'll, I'll let you know if I'm actually gonna be able to get it see if I actually have time Brian Vaughn maybe I'll pick up some shirts for you we'll see if we have some time this morning I'll, I'll, I'll give you a heads up as baseball fans, we've had three Game 7s in the past four World Series. That's crazy to think about. We've been spoiled with the experience. But the Astros fans, they haven't been spoiled of late. They've had some tough years rebuilding, but they did it the right way. They did it through their farm system. Now these fans behind me, they're getting to experience this rush of getting their gear. And a lot of people in Austin, y'all are probably waking up for work. Well, these Astro fans, that's not their focus right now. You can see some of the fans lined up outside the academy right now because inside, well, it's pretty much at full capacity as fans. Has been, you can hear the Go Astros. They've been excited. They've been ramped up because they've been coming inside this morning, getting their championship gear. You can see to my left right now, plenty of gray shirts stacked up. Fans getting their gear, gray shirts, orange shirts, navy shirts, the hats, the pennants, all with the championship gear on it, with the history on it. Many were out celebrating last night, others planning their schedules for Friday's parade, and many were getting their championship gear early in the morning, and still plenty are doing that this afternoon. You can see to my right that there's plenty of gear out here at this academy in Houston. There's likely a, a lunch rush that's going to continue to be building as we go into the noon hour. And for those who couldn't make it out early in the morning, they're wanting to get this Orange and Navy Championship apparel. Well, if you aren't too big of a fan of baseball or haven't been following them this past year, the Astros, they've had many tough seasons after being swept in the 2005 World Series. They've been in somewhat of a rebuild mode. And the city of Houston, it's been in a rebuild mode too after Hurricane Harvey. And for many Houstonians, this championship run has been a breath of fresh air, a chance to get away from the struggles of their everyday lives for just a moment. And for Cedric Loeb, a Houstonian since 1973, he says this is a championship he and his family will never forget. Oh, it was exciting. It was like you knew they had something. They they could cut and fight and scratch like I hadn't seen before. So it, it kind of was uplifting. It was something to look forward to because the, the gloom of Harvey was there every day. Uh, but with the Astros, they kept mashing on the gas, man. So it was it was interesting to watch them do it. Cedric picked up shirts, hats, and gear for his wife, his kids, his grandkids. He said while celebrating the Houston Rockets late 90s championship with his family was a great experience, this one feels just a little bit sweeter. And while we have a line outside the store, here's a look at the lines inside. Plenty of fans ready to get their gear, ready to purchase this championship gear. A lot of long lines right now with a lot of tired fans, but you could probably assume for many of these fans, it's a long line worth waiting for to get their gear and celebrate this championship. Well, this is not only going to be an all-day event for Astros fans getting their gear, but also for the people working at the sports stores around pretty much all of Texas. You can see to my right, there's plenty of workers here with the gear stocked and all of the apparel. For This is the Academy in Houston. And in talking to the store manager here, it's been a consistent rush since they opened up just before midnight last night. But preparing to have this gear laid out, you have to understand that was a tricky process, especially for a sport that is plenty of superstitions to it. This academy got the championship gear in boxes on Monday earlier this week, but they kept it in the back, didn't want to even risk it being opened up on accident. And even with the Astros up 5-0 by the second inning, this crew waited and waited. And finally, with a promise to be open right after the World Series, if the Astros won, the store started bringing out the boxes still closed to the front of the store and went to work right when that last out was made. 
about 45 minutes before the game was actually over. We took the chance pulling it to the floor, just staging it there to get ready um, for that big win. We moved as quickly as possible. It did take about 30 minutes because we had a lot to get out for everyone. Some of them thought they would be tired, but they're still going strong because it's such an exciting time. Well, the gear is now all out in this sports apparel store, along with all the other ones in the area. Can let out a sigh of relief, not having to worry about what to do with all this championship gear if the Astros didn't pull it out. So, in talking to the store manager, she says she expects there to continue to be a lunch rush the next couple hours, and then there to be a dinner rush right before the store closes at 9:30, completing a 21-hour day. But I'm sure plenty of these workers and Astros fans would say. It's plenty worth it. In Houston, Jay Wallace, KV News.